The other interesting thing in here is that there are backgrounds in here. So I'm going to change this background and it's going to replace the whole image. Right now the background is marked as off and if you want to turn it off, you have to turn it off purposefully by selecting off. So here is the most expensive blackboard ever. So the black background gives you pure black and the most fun thing to use on that is day glow for your kids. So now you've just basically made a blackboard, but you get really bright ink if you use day glow. So that's always fun to do and kids like to draw on it. And if you want to leave bright messages for when kids come in, this is a great one to use. All of the screens come in two colors, black and white. Dayglow doesn't work so good on white. So they also have sorting circles. So you can see also that the hours are marked there, basically. So you can also use them to sort. That comes in black and white as well. You may want to use this, and I'm going to clear this because maybe you're going to want to use this for lettering and things. So it's basically lined paper. And there's also graphs. So if you want to actually do, I'm going to clear this and I'm going to change our color to something bright and I'm going to now go into a line. So maybe you do want to set up a, something that you're going to actually use for graph or mathing or things like that. Math, mathing, I said mathing. And you want to keep it though. So one of the things you can do is if you're not plugged in with two cables, you can always take pictures of things you create on the board. If you're plugged in with two cables, that means your USB and HDMI, you can capture the whole background. So let's say you had a letter chart you wanted to keep forever. You can take a picture of it and keep it on the machine. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. The demo I'm gonna use is this. Okay, so we've set up a little diagram. We'll, we'll just put a little uh, circle here as well. And then I'm gonna save this. That's in this menu here. There's a little camera here and some file folders. We're gonna go in. Only these two are active. I'm gonna use the camera. The camera's gonna download the picture into the device. And as you can see, we're not plugged in with anything. This is built-in functionality I'm showing you. So this is gonna take a picture and then we'll have it in our file system. If you're plugged in with both cables, that means the HDMI and the USB, you can capture any background. So you can find any template you want capture it and keep it up there and then you don't have to plug in or anything you just pull it out of there and I'm going to go into our little camera file thing here and instead of the camera I'm going to go into the file folder which is right here with the red arrow and you're going to see unless there's lots of stuff in this machine a bunch of things but here's our latest one which is right here so we just took that picture so if we tap the picture it just becomes live now interesting it's a picture, so if I take my eraser and try to erase it, that's not going to work. So I'll just show you that in slow-mo here. So here I drew that, here I erase it, that works. It doesn't erase this because it's a picture. All right, so the picture's back. We want to get rid of the picture. We have to actually go back here and say, oh, look, there's some new stuff here. One, oops, one you can go picture by picture and change pictures. So you can do that. It'll take the next picture in your series on, on, that's up in your memory. So you can do that. We'll go back. To get out of our pictures, you actually have to return. So it's going to take us here. And to get out of there, we can return again. It takes us all the way out. I'm going to show you one more thing in this. And that is how to delete a picture. So I'm going to go into our file folder. I'm going to see our pictures. Because this is not intuitive. You need two devices to do this. So I'm going to delete this picture. I'm going to say choose number one. When I do it, I can delete. And you would think you can do this, but you can't. That is actually the right arrow on your remote. So I'm going to have to click the right arrow and the picture's gone. All right. So that is not intuitive. I understand, but that's how you get rid of the picture. I'm going to go back.